Donald Trump should be convicted claims Piers Morgan sign up for now and never miss the top politics stories again subscribe when you subscribe we will use the information you provide to send you these new sometimes they'll include recommendations for other related newsletters or services our privacy notice explains more about how we use your data and your rights you can unsubscribe at any Congress impeach Donald Trump a second time in January with Democrats eager to hold a Senate trial before his departure on January. But then Senate leader Mitch McConnell refused to recall the chamber, pushing proceedings to this. Both Mr. Trump and impeachment managers have now had the chance to make their respective cases, with senators given the duty of providing. Is Donald Trump's impeachment trial over? Mr. Trump's lawyers arrived to argue the former president's innocence. They had the task of convincing U.S. senators, in this case acting as jurors, he did not incite the Capitol Hill insurrection. Impeachment managers claimed his words encouraged supporters attending a Stop the Steal rally before the Capitol insurrect. The trial started last week with the prosecution, who made their arguments on behalf of the House. Of Mr. Trump's attorneys followed from Wednesday to Friday, describing his conduct before the shocking events as ordinary political rhetoric. Time will tell whether senators draw the same conclusions, as the trial now rests in their hand. Although the defense rests, the trial is not yet over. When is the impeachment verdict? As legal representatives leave the building, the U.S. legislature will gather to deliberate. The country's OO senators must now decide whether to convict Mr. Trump, and the process could come to a close with House managers and Mr. Trump's attorneys had six hours to deliver arguments each. With closing argument, the current schedule has both teams back in the Senate before a vote to convict or acquit. Senators effectively act as jurors, who need to deliver their verdict as a super conviction requires a Senate supermajority of 67 and legislation treats anything less as an equivalent. Current voting plans may mean the trial reaches its conclusion today, but the schedule is subject. Trending House impeachment managers and defense attorneys can extend the proceeding. They still have a chance to introduce witnesses or subpoena documents before the vote. Either team will have a lot of time to use their last-minute additions, decided by the Senate after a two-hour debate. But regardless of how long the trial takes to conclude, it will end as one of the shortest of its kind in U.S. history, with potentially less than a week of delay.